You just got your asses whipped by a bunch of goddamn nerds. I will start drawing out a basic strategy based on the current temperature, the wind conditions, and the coefficient of refraction for the playing surface. Jay said you guys had a Star Wars themed wedding and tie the knot dressed like stormtroopers. And he says you're the bitch and you're the butch. I'm the bitch? That is true. There's no respect. That is also true. I'm going to show off my illustrious hat collection. Thanks. Just one at a time. This one's the championship. Can't remember what year. I think it's the 20. Okay. Couldn't remember what year it was. Yeah, no, 2022. Nice. Oh, yeah, baby. Welcome back, folks. We're live and direct uh, with Clinto Beans and Xander, Woo-hoo. the Salamander Commander. Yep. Uh, back live and direct episode. Alright, 36 Episode 36 For real Pretend I'm not moving stuff out of the way They have Clint, the camera Get your shit together But no, yeah, welcome back, Clint How was your weekend? It was good, dude Good? I mean, hung out Went and played Lotaria Lotaria the homies Yeah, dude Nice, how was that? It was uh, it was Millennial Lotaria So all the uh, No, of course not, I never won well, I have no luck if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. <coughs> no, I think I, d- I did win eventually. And I got like a spicy mango candy. It was delicious. Nice. Yeah, it was like it was like a baby bottle pop, but it was in Spanish. Oh, nice. Caliente. Really was, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Nice. Well, yep. that sounds exciting. Weekend. Yeah, it was a great weekend. Sounds real exciting. Uh, we hung out with Van, Van uh, our uh, homie's kid. Van, yeah. he's basketball prodigy dude he's like he can make free throws all fucking day dude nice yeah it's just gotta get the foul huh just gotta get the foul yeah dude i was fuck i was trying to foul him dude i was going <laughs> low on him going high There's, you can't stop this kid dude oh fuck yeah we've been uh yeah married life yeah. you know yeah married life's great start playing elden, elden ring dude that's what i've been doing with my married life <laughs> No, I'm not <laughs> trying to invest. Uh, I I don't want to spend sixty bucks to invest. No, you got too much shit to paint. Yeah, I got too much shit going on. But uh, married life, not yep. much different. Than All right, yeah, I guess this is the first cast. This is the first post wedding cast. Congratulations, post Xander. Wedding cast. Everybody who doesn't know, Xander got married. I got a ring yep. on my finger. He took the girl's last name because he's a fairy. Yeah, you know. Traditional, my yeah. family. You know, we take the girls' last name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's lots of power uh, bitches in our Zachary Alexander Borger. Yeah, so it's gay. Um, you got the hyphen. Yeah, I mean, not legally. No, you're allowed to say it. But They're Jewish. On your license, it's gonna change. Yeah. So just <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be a, just a slash. <laughs> no hyphen. No hyphen. We couldn't afford it. You know, Jews. Those hyphens are expensive, man. Yeah. yeah. Penny pinchers. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah. Um uh, married life comes with a lot of things. Buying houses, um you know Technically you bought your house before. Butt stuff. <laughs> oh, butt you stuff. <laughs> nice. Is that uh the... buying a mower. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't skip over the good stuff. <laughs> no, no, man. So, um, so if mean, you like it then you put a ring on it. I mean what it just happen to be an O ring? I mean I don't owe ring and tell. Oh, <laughs> <if you know. laughs> my dog. She uh, gave up the butt. Dang, dude. But my wife didn't even do that when we got married. I but I didn't Bitch. believe you, Clint. At first, you were like, you know, marriage butt stuff's happening, and I was like, no way. That was a joke. It was a, no. It was not. Apparently, a joke. <laughs> it was not a joke, people. <laughs> I mean, I I thought it was her butt. It felt like yeah. her butt. Somebody's butt. <laughs> Somebody's butt. <laughs> Dark enough. I was drunk enough. <coughs> so. Hell yeah, dude. Well, I'm glad you got uh got all up in there. Yeah, I mean, proud of you, brother. Yeah. Well, did it, guys. We did it. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Desiree's brothers who listen to this cast. <laughs> Please don't listen. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, um, we should definitely should have disclaimed that. But yeah, uh, I bought a mower today. That's cool. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I feel like a real fucking adult. Yeah, dude, you're like um, an old bitch now, man. We got a ring camera, and our, our neighbor, his name's Larry. Shout out, Larry. Yo, what up, Larry? <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, I got kept, I kept getting these notifications on my ring, you know. I'm like, I, I, some dude I, in the bushes. Yeah, dude. And I look <laughs> up and it's Larry mowing our yard. Uh, mowing your yard? Yeah, my yard Boy. in the front yard. I'm like, what is? All right, and then like I get another mess, like a notification. He's like, got a pressure washer. <laughs> <laughs> He's like pressure washing our like front entryway side block. I'm just like Larry, dude. Like, yeah. uh, so me. What's and, up, dude? <laughs> yeah. So me and Des got him like. Uh, she brought him some RV sandwiches. Oh and, yeah. Know, like a six pack of fucking Miller, and he's like, "Oh, I'm just I'm retired." And he's yeah. like, "Cool, man. Well, I yeah. mean, it is what it is, but I mean." I'm not gonna pay you any money. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't expect me to pay like throw you fifty bucks. No, no, dude. He's basically he's Hank Hill, dude. He's the Hank Hill <laughs> yeah, of the street, dude. Yeah. Just like, he was trying to turn me on that to yard electric needs to be mowed. mower too. No. Oh, like never yeah. mind, he's not the Hank Hill of the street. <laughs> yeah. My bad. I was, I was about to leave to work. He's outside, like it was like seven thirty in the morning and he's outside in his garage smoking a cigarette. He's like, Hey uh and I was like, yeah, I know the grass is getting pretty long, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh dang, you know, we're at <laughs> yeah. our house. Oof. And then uh, he brought up his ego. Uh, he's like, it's about $800 for the whole set. I'm like, damn, bro. I'm trying to get a mower. Oh, is that what the mower line is called? Ego? Yeah, I guess like an ego. Ego mowers. Electronic go, yep. maybe. Yeah, oh, I hear. I hear. But no, I got a craftsman, and it works like a charm. That's what's up. Yeah, no, uh, I will say, though, I have a, like the fucking, I'm a, I'm a DeWalt boy. I got just a crazy lineup of DeWalt tools in my garage. You got a DeWalt mower? Dude, I don't, but I have. <laughs> I got a DeWalt. I have a DeWalt. I got the DeWalt weed eater. And then I have like the, the super large. Do they like, even fucking, make a DeWalt mower? They probably fucking do, dude. They probably do nowadays. Probably. I think I saw one actually. I was, I was looking at one yeah. actually. I don't know if I would go that far. I mean, <laughs> no, I like DeWalt. You got to get but the whole lineup. No. The DeWalt riding low yeah, lawnmower. <laughs> just. <laughs> With the with the hood on it, yeah, <laughs> just like a tractor, just runs <laughs> just on fucking got, twelve fucking bolts. Yeah, you got you don't, there's bolt no need, no need for that. You got it, just <laughs> big dick in it throughout the neighborhood. Just no, nah, dude, it just you just go like one lane and just you go to turn around and it's just dead. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> go charge the fucking battery. So fucking uh, along with the house. So I'm thinking about change, making the garage a chill spot. Oh, so see that's where you fucking up, dude. Really, the whole house needs to be a chill spot. Dude. Well, it is, but yeah, dude, don't let her put you in a room like me, dude. I had I to paint a wall rooms. green, dude, to claim this one. I got two rooms, yeah. brother. Hell oh, yeah, you do too. Yeah, you got I, this room in the outside. Uh, yeah, kind of. Essentially, yeah, essentially. But um, I'm gonna get a dartboard, and that's gonna make it pretty chill spot. <laughs> <laughs> Play darts by myself. <laughs> 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 just get drunk. <laughs> just be lonely. Yeah, that's cool, man. Just have a couch. Yeah. I already got a couch set up in there. I mean, if you got, got my uh, fishing pole area set up. Yeah, nice. Gonna get my dartboard soon, and then it's gonna be a really chill spot. You know should be saying? living off of fucking darts and butt sex. Dar- hey, <laughs> married life. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, bro! Hell Hell yeah. life, brother. Um, so how about them Strohs, dude? They're winning games again. Hey, it's man. beautiful, dude. We're like thirteen and twenty-two hey, or some shit, twenty-three brother, or something like that. It cannot compare. Now to we're the twenty-one and twenty-five. It's still not a great record, but that's a hell of a run to go on. Like compared eight uh, and two in the last ten. The nineties and early two thousand Strohs to now. We'll take oh, that hell all yeah, day, dude. baby. <laughs> we'll take know, that all day, baby. I don't know if I've no- told this story on the cast, but, dude, back in, like, it was, like, Altuve's, like, rookie fucking year, dude. This had to be, like. 2002? Uh, no, no, no. It was after that. 12? Yeah, it was, like, maybe, like, 2008, 2009. We probably won, like, 20 fucking games that whole year, dude. It was real bad. It was, like, after they traded away, like, Hunter Pence and fucking Berkman and fucking everybody, dude. Who who's the the mid, who is the middle fielder? Uh, Brantley, Michael Brantley, the center fielder. Born, Michael Bourne. Michael Bourne, yeah, Michael Bourne, not Brantley. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, regardless, 
Uh, they got rid of everybody, and it was just bad. It was just all the young dudes. Like uh, Kyle Tucker's older brother was on the team, Preston Tucker. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, regardless, ter- just terrible, terrible Astros team. And we go up there, uh, me and my lady and, like, uh, one of my homies. And <laughs> my homie, like, he just had some weed and a pipe in his pocket. <laughs> and he just brought it into the stadium. And there was literally nobody at the stadium. This is back when they still had, like, smoking sections or whatever. So we were, oh, like, yeah. we were, like, uh on like the higher level so would you like you go out like on this balcony that faces like you know i don't know fucking uh crawford or something like that Some either way yeah and uh like we just went up there and when we walked out there there was just this old dude just smoking a cigarette and he just like was putting his cigarette out and goes inside and literally we like nobody's in the fucking stadium so we just like load up a bowl and we're just out there just on these lawn chairs or not lawn chairs but these like wooden chairs just fucking uh, I think blazing I down was it yeah. were you I th- there i think i might have been with you yeah Cause we, yeah, we took advantage of those days. Yeah, with the uh, hell yeah, dude. Cheap baseball seats. Fuck, fuck yeah. yeah, dude. I'd always get baseball tickets for my birthday back when the Astros sucked. Oh, fuck yeah. Dude, I remember one year, dude. Uh, that they was won. probably when we went. It probably was. Uh, but there was one year we I went to three games and we won like a total of thirty games that entire year. And all three games I went to. We won. I was like, dude, that was like, <laughs> I went to like almost all of our wins this year. I remember yeah, one dude. one game we went to when, uh, what the fuck, the, who is that uh, Hispanic uh, with the, some oh, rare, fucking, what was his name? Yeah, that was Carlos Lee. Lee, yeah, yeah, El Caballo. El Caballo, yeah, yeah. yeah dude, that shit we was so We had the funny. sombreros on, and the, yeah. the guys were getting pissed off because we were wearing them and being drunk. They are like, hey, yeah, you gotta yeah. take off the fucking hats because yeah, we fuck can't you, see. Dude. Like, dude, there's nobody around us. Dude, that's funny. One time, dude, okay, a different time. That was a fun time. I remember um, our homie that went with us, he had, like, a jersey for somebody else. That wasn't with the team anymore, but had the same number as uh, Carlos Lee. Yeah. So he just put we put duct tape over it and wrote Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <clears throat> but no, we went at a different time and we were playing the Pirates. And it goes into and just speaking of Carlos Lee, it was me and whatever two of my other buddies. And it goes into like the tenth inning. You know, it's like tied three to three. We're like, oh shit, let's go, come on! And like nobody's in the stadium, so we like move all the way down to like the front row. We're like in the front fucking row, you know, like behind, behind third base. No, 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 we're behind third. You can't get behind home plate, yeah. but we're like behind third base, like front fucking row. And uh, there was like some Pirates fans that were like the third row behind us, you know. And uh, like fucking something happens, like uh, there's like a play at first base, and the runner hits, you know, Carlos Lee at first base, and like. He's down or whatever, and the parts end up scoring, and like whatever, some bullshit happens, and we're like, oh fuck, and we're like standing up, like, god damn, or whatever, and the guy behind us is like, hey, could y'all sit down, please? And we're like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> my, I look over, my buddies, one of my buddies is fucking literally passed out in the seat, dude. He's asleep <laughs> in the fucking seat. My other buddy is like, fucking heated he's like oh, fuck you you old piece of shit and then this guy's like oh you need to learn some manners he's like oh fuck you blah, blah blah whatever and he goes he goes you need to respect your elders he's like you know what i don't respect is that fucking jersey you're wearing bitch <laughs> <laughs> and then the security like showed up out of nowhere and threw us out and everything We're like what what do we do what do we do so the but, astro fan yeah they have to dude i mean that's the that's the way it works but we'll be back Either way, we left, and Astros <laughs> lost. They ended up scoring, like, five more runs in, like, the 11th inning. <laughs> it was bad. But, yeah, that was a fun game. I've been thrown out of there. I remember one time, dude, when I was, like, dude, I had to be, like, 17, and I got tickets to the fucking Astros game, and we were playing the Braves. <clears throat> and it must have been while we were still pretty good because it was, it was, like, for, like, it was, like, right before the playoffs. The fucking stadium was, like, full and shit. It wasn't playoffs, but... It was like right before the playoffs when we were playing the Braves and we lost <laughs> and fucking me and one of my homies were fucking we had uh quarters left over from the concession stands and we were just whipping quarters at Braves fans <laughs> on the way out of the stadium, dude. If you were wearing shorts, dude, you were catching a fucking quarter of the shin, dude. Oh, I swear man. to God I remember that. <laughs> yeah, it might have been you. I it might have been you. I, I think I it was remember. Tom, too. Hatfield? Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny. To Tom, Tom, too, because he doesn't Cause give like a shit in about... In the car, like, dude, give me the change. Give me the change. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We were, it was while we were, as we were walking out of the stadium. Like, while we were, like, still in the stadium. Just, I think he was still whipping quarters yeah, out the window. Been, <laughs> yeah, it might have been afterwards, too. I'm not saying it stopped. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Yeah, dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you want some change, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Congratulations, your team won, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's fun. Baseball games are always fun when you're your kids. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yep. So what do you think about this fucking J.J. Watt, D'Amico Ryan shit? What do you mean? With the Texans. Oh, that J.J. Watt's coming back? Yeah. like, Dude, listen. I think J.J. Watt, I mean, he's retired. Just let the man retire. Um, And really... J.J. Watts from, like, the kind of – he's the old era now. Like, there's we have a, an entire new yeah. – like new crew. New crew. Like, it's a new – they're literally unveiling new uniforms. Only it's a new It's a new era. Go. Like, <laughs> he has his place in Texans history. And you know what? If something happens and somehow our best option at defensive end this year at any point is J.J. Watt, then fine. Bring him on in. Whoa. But I'd, it would have to get pretty fucking bad yeah. for that to be the situation. I don't think they if should maybe bring him in – player wise maybe like as a coach i mean if he's interested you know? in that i don't like, know if he's interested in that i mean true but and it's always one of those things with like the former it's greats like the morale thing you too. know you know you bring jj watt back to the team he's not actually playing but he's on the field he's defensive linebacker whatever defensive, yeah defensive line whatever. coach yeah, yeah. and then Assistant. he's on the field he's there he's got you know because yeah. he always brings the energy you know like jj watt yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be doing like Brian Cushing shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Brian so, Cushing was a good linebacker. I, coach, mean, I mean, it'd be cool to see JJ play again, <laughs> but oof, I don't know if it's the right move. But to bring him back, at least for this next season, in some kind of I mean, way, he can be he can be a part of the team as much as he wants. I mean, his name's up on the fucking ring right, of honor. Right, so right, By all means, at whatever capacity he wants to be a part of the team, by all means. But when it comes to like coaching and stuff, it's like I just. And I don't think JJ would, anyways. But it's just you don't you can't be stepping on D'Amico Ryan's toes like that. You know what oh, I mean? You can't yeah. be like, oh hey, I'm here. I'm gonna t- coach well, the defensive together, line. So it's, it's like it wouldn't even be like that. You know, it would be. I like, guess, but I mean, D'Amico like already has his guy. I'm just saying, if, it'd be one thing if D'Amico Ryan's was like, hey, JJ, this is privately on a phone call. Hey, JJ, we got an opening. I, you know, I. You want to come coach for me? And it's another thing for J.J. Watt to get be interviewed on TV and then it turn into a coaching job where J.J. just shows – you know what I mean? I, yeah. And then I, that's not what's going to happen. Whatever. It won't. But, but for him to come back as a player, I I, I think that's – I, don't think, I think that that's – far. That's a there's a long fucking shot of that happening. And the only way that that even makes sense is probably like if so, – and I don't even know what he – what does he have left in the tank? But if it was like, all right, we're in the playoffs, <laughs> you know – or, you know, whatever. We're two weeks out of the playoffs and fucking yeah. Will Anderson and Daniel yeah. Hunter are both and her and Domenico just, Autry. It and just fucking, adds to the hype to next season. Like, yeah. what could happen, you know? But, yeah. but I mean, I'm sure if J.J. Wong wants to come and fucking do all – be the announcer for the Texans. Like, by all means, dude. <laughs> Overhead PA announcer, dude. Fuck yeah. C.J. Stra and it's fucking J.J. out there on the podium fucking yeah. announcing it. Of course, it, dude, some, that'd be fucking dope, but no, I when it comes to the to coaching staff, nah, fucking that's to, that's to me down cause. there with the fucking headset on, just throwing yeah. a fucking bitch fit about you know, yeah. some calls, you know, <laughs> some defensive nah, calls dude, or something. I want to see him in the fucking booth just putting Tony Romo in a headlock. That's just what I was down Shut the fuck <laughs> up! Oh, just <laughs> break his neck. So I downloaded the show. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. You figure out how to play a game yet? No. You still ended up in coach mode? I uninstalled it. <laughs> <laughs> you never actually played a game? I started playing it, and it was like, it gives you like options of how you want to play, yeah. I guess, throughout the years, like this style of hitting. or this Oh, yeah, style yeah. I mean, you can always change it and it's stuff. Right, right. But, but no, nah, classic, dude. Just do all the classic stuff, and then it's just like the old games. Right, right, but. I don't know. I just keep going back to super mega baseball. Yeah. <laughs> just play fucking backyard baseball, dude. That's what it essentially is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it really. It just it, it. It's fucking. It's so fun. I would love to get to y'all onto that shit because it's not like uh obviously up to date rosters and everything. There, there's leagues that have like uh there's where you can play like Hank Aaron or oh, you no know, yeah, like, yeah. There's the like, greats yeah. yeah the great leagues or whatever but um, legends it's so fun just because of like all the names and like it's an easy game to play and it's so fucking fun because like uh sounds gay so it's, it's fun no it's fun no it sounds super gay <laughs> I'm not doing that no you know what's something something that's super gay that I did recently is there was a YouTube video 
and it was some dude trying to recreate Moneyball, like do like the Moneyball tactic, like only have like yeah. the like, you know, lower ranging players in the old video game backyard baseball. So he picked the Oakland A's and started a season and only picked like the shitty kids. <laughs> And then tried to like <laughs> win the championship with the shitty kids, and it's a two part fucking thing. It's like the first part's the season, and part two is the playoffs. And I watched this whole fucking. It's like two hours. <laughs> I didn't just sit there and watch it. I was like listening to it or whatever. But I started watching it last night when I was going to bed, and then I woke up this morning. And I was like, "All right, what else happened?" <laughs> and I went back and figured out where I was, <laughs> and watched the rest of it, dude. But uh, yeah, it was just some fucking gay dude too. No man, it. It's it's fun. Yeah. It it's fun. I'll play that over MLB because because you're a puto, dude. You gotta step it up to it's the big leagues. It's too dude. Uh, immersive. I just want to play like it's like robot. What's that? What's that Sega? Oh, game? Super Baseball Twenty Twenty. Yeah, it's like that. You know, yeah. like where you just go in, you just like you're on goofy teams, yeah. and you just you just want to play like a arcade style baseball. Game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's, it's much more fun. I'm not, I guess, competitive. I'm not as competitive as I used to be. Yeah, yeah. I can tell. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah you can definitely can, tell. Y'all can talk shit. But well, I'm, I'm, more, I'm, I'm more competitive than ever. So. Yeah. yeah, I know. So, yeah, don't even think tell. about competing I with me. Tell. <laughs> the problem is, is I wanted to be on your team with you, but hearing that, I don't want you to ever log in and try to play baseball with us, dude, with that kind of attitude. Yeah. No, dude. I'll just be bunting. That's fine. All the time. That's good. <laughs> oh, dude, I fucking played uh, ragball today. Oh, yeah. In Crosby. So, I went uh, so what is rag four ball? for six. Played two games. Went four for six. And we lost both games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're the MVP of the losing team? No, they were... They actually were like, wow, we've actually never scored a run. So, and if you're... So, if you're... Oh, they never have scored no, a run like, before? No, they've never done as well as they did... Today, when I came in village with them. Are you on like a nerd team? It's just a team I full mean, of they're, nerds? they're not a very good team. <laughs> but this, this is the first sporting event they've ever partaken no, in well, in their lives? it's last. like um, ragball. There are certain rules. You have to have like girls on the field as well. Oh, yeah. Mixed and they can't do the guys. <laughs> so like it's it's just like all for fun. But some of the people what take is, it seriously. Is it so? It's is it softball or so is like what is the ball fucking ragball? Is a little bit smaller than a softball, a little bit bigger than a baseball, but it, and it's squishy. It's a little. It's squishy. like a t-ball squishy. Yeah. Or is it like kinda, a fucking kind of yeah koosh yeah. ball? It's not like super squishy, but it's a it's like a yellow ball. But okay, I mean. A little bit bigger than a baseball, not as big as a softball, <laughs> but super squishy. So if it was super hard hit the ball because it was so. Squishy. Oh, it would just kind of like yeah, fall, dude, like fall off would, the bat. Yeah, you would have to like try to golf swing it mm-hmm. because if if you hit it on the bot, it would just the way it hit the bat. It it was weird, yeah, yeah. dude. It was just so weird to adjust because I'm used to place a baseball like overhand like fastball. I'm like. But so they throw it underhand. Yeah, underhand. It's got a yeah. There's a bunch of rules. It was fun though. Um, made a bunch of plays. It was fun. I mean, got dirty. It was fun. I haven't played ball in a while, but I told my sister, I was like, "Hey, if you, you need someone, fucking let me know." <laughs> Fuck it. No, you gotta start. You gotta pay your fi- fucking league fees, dude. I was like, you want to play every week, I dude? You gotta her, pay she, your fucking like, fees, you want me dude. To send you some money. And she's like, no. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but the thing is, you have to buy a, a home run band. So if you, you're you going to hit a home run, you have to have a home run band. If you don't have a home run band, it doesn't count. Wait, what? Yeah. That's the scam? Yeah, that's one of the scams. So you got to go buy a band that says that. Like, Just in case you hit a home run hit tonight. A home run, it, it counts. So if you hit one, then you have to then you have to go buy a new band? No, it's all day. Oh, you get an all day pass on yeah, that band? Yeah, all day pass on the band. Even in the band cages? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Hell yeah, dude. Um, well, that's that's, fun, that oh, sounds yeah. I mean, super you, cool. Everyone is really surprised. I surprised myself. No, nah, dude, you were it. you were playing fucking baseball in county, dude. <laughs> You've been playing ball your whole damn life, dude. 
<laughs> it was so funny. Like there was a a ball hit up the middle, and I was playing second because no. Dude, one you came play. subbed in, and you were playing second base. Yeah. Who are these nerds you're playing with? That's man? what I'm saying. Yeah. Dude, it God, was, it damn. was bad. Like wait, so, wait, you can throw the ball. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can yeah, catch a like, ground ball. Yeah. W- what's probably the most important position for someone to be able to throw a ball? <laughs> I mean, I guess like shortstop second or, or short? second. He's like, That's okay, like, wait, all right, pick you your want favorite one. Or short, which one do you want? I, was like, <laughs> I guess second. Dude, that's anyways, so funny. How many games have they played and not scored a run, dude? dude you're sc- it was this bad. is like the tenth game of the horrible. season. <laughs> horrible. Like my sister was like, "Oh my god, yeah, this is the best we've ever done." And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even contribute that much. I just made a few outs, you yeah. know, like, defensively. <laughs> like I didn't even do well in my batting, like. It was so hard. Four for six? I mean. Oh, no. so you're just making up those stats. I thought you said you weren't competitive, Xander. And you're making up batting well, stats for nerd ball. Well, wasn't like a, a base. Well, a lot of the people suck, too. Oh, okay. So they'll drop fly balls or they'll miss a ground ball. So it wasn't actually, you know. Oh, okay. So you know, it wasn't your on-base percentage yeah, was, was 600, good, but, but yeah. It was just like, uh, this this girl in left field dropped the ball, you know? So. Yeah. Although, yeah, no, an error doesn't count for your OBP. No, it? I don't think so. I don't think so. I wouldn't count it personally. No, no, no. Never. It's just like, ah, this is out. Wait, no, that's, wait, wait, <laughs> wait. All right, yeah. That's so funny. But no, it was fun, man. I think. Uh, it showed out for all the nerds. <laughs> Yeah, my sister's <laughs> team was super impressed. I was like, uh, I mean, "Dude, we gotta get the boys up in there, dude. We gotta get the, all the bros to know. come and just fucking take I'm the sure team they over." Teams here, man. No, 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 no. We gotta take their team over <laughs> <laughs> and just have them all ride the bench. <laughs> like you need six players. <laughs> yeah, we got you. Yeah, we got it. We got an infield for you this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing too. There has to be at least two females on the infield. All right. They can play. Uh, how many infield spots are there? Like five. Just the usual. The usual. Okay. Yeah. First, second, short, third, pitcher, catcher. Dude, I remember sometimes and four outfielders. You'd come across like because we'd like share baseball fields a lot whenever we were little. But yeah, we'd like come across those weird like baseball leagues where they'd have all those crazy rules where there's like yeah, yeah fucking four outfielders, five infielders, and fucking. They asked me to be on their soft. They're gonna start a softball team. Yeah. But. It's a Thursday night gig, and I'm like, Ugh. yeah, that sounds terrible. Sunday, I can do. Yeah. But Thursday nights in Crosby, no. Oh, that's where you had to go today? Yeah. Crosby? Yeah, fuck all that. It was fun. It was so See, fun. They got that fucking, I mean, you got to get on a team or whatever, but they got the that fucking field of dreams in League City. Oh, yeah. Like, if you did want to fucking go do that shit, that's the place to do it. I played a couple games there. I fucking though. Okay, so my like stepbrother had, uh, was on a team or whatever, and that's what happened, dude. It's funny. I played like two or three games with them, and then the dudes were like, "Well, he's gonna pay if he's gonna fucking play." And like, it's like, bro, I was just helping y'all out. Like, I'll stop showing up. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Um, but either way, yeah, dude. I played a, played a couple games, and like the first game, dude. Uh, like I got a hit, got on first or whatever, and then uh, the next guy came up. And he, like, hit a grounder or whatever to the third baseman. So, I'm, like, I'm booking it to second. I fucking slide head first. And, dude, I just, like, make contact with this old dude's fucking knee, dude. And he just, like, tears his fucking PCL or something, dude. I just fucking, my head just skull to his knee because he tried to bo- block the plate. And it just fucking, and he's like, ah, it just rolls over. He's like, fuck. And I was like, dude, I was, like, dazed. I was like, fuck, dude. I'm like, god damn it, man. I looked at him, like, am I safe or out? And it's like, you're safe. I'm like, all right, fuck, dude. It's like, stood up because we don't have helmets or anything. It's fucking, no. fucking slow pitch softball, right? It's a fucking beer league, dude. Yeah, uh, it was great. But yeah, and then dude, fly balls, dude. Honestly, fly balls. Fly, I played fucking. You know, I was playing outfield because I was the extra guy or whatever. And like, dude, this fucking fly ball comes up. I'm like, all right, start fucking working my way forward. I'm like, oh no, wait, whoa, whoa. and I just like turn, and start running, trying to catch it, because like the perception of like a fucking softball yeah, no, that no. high in the air looks like a baseball a lot closer. So I'm thinking it's looping in for me. You know, it's about to drop right yeah. here. And it's like, no, no, no. That thing is fucking way up there, bitch. No, I was literally coaching my team. Yeah, yeah. Like, start at the fence, work back in. Like, it's easier to run in on the ball than back up on the ball. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your first step's always back. And I'm like, 
and then Craig, my brother in law, like we're throwing we're throwing warming up and I was like, We're gonna pop up so I threw like chunked a ball up in there, he's like, Oh, I can't see Oh, they're scared of it. <laughs> and then he drops is like, dude, just block the sun with your glove yeah. and then look at the ball and then line it up and he's yeah. like, All right and I threw it and he's like caught it. Yeah. He's like, Oh my god <laughs> He's like, Oh my god, what's That's the hell? so funny, you have and to teach thirty year olds fucking yeah, fundamentals. Like, dude. The, the two other guys heard, they're like, Dude, what the fuck? Like <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> it works perfect. Oh my god, yeah, dumbass. Like, use two hands. Like when the ball hits, just close it in yeah. with two hands, and they're like, "All right." Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Guys, like, have you get the ball in your glove. Watch. Your other hand goes yeah, right over the yeah. top of it. And oh, with the rag right. balls, it's harder because it's yeah, it bounces more, a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's more squishy, so wiggles around in there. Yeah, it just bounces off, and I'm just like, I made a few diving plays, and everyone's just like. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> it's like county all over again. It's like, hey, bro, come on, man. This guy's got to Come on, pay. dude. Hey, you got to fucking chill the fuck out, dude. We're just trying to have a good time out here. Still lost. It was funny. Yeah. We got run rolled twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they batted around twice. That sucks. But it was fun. Oh, you're saying both games ended in run roll? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, fuck, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. We got smoked. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, you know what? I don't want you to play the show with us, dude. <laughs> we can't be having that shit. Not a goddamn chance. It wasn't my fault. Oh. And my my sister warned me before. She's like, yeah, we suck. Yeah. And I was like, eh, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll. They, but they had to. They are like, man, this is the best we've ever done. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, you guys want to go get pizza and ice cream after this? <laughs> You know, to go to the sit down pizza hut. Because like the first inning, we had a lead. Like it was two zip. Like oh my god, guys, we haven't led an we inning. We fucking have a lead, <laughs> yeah. dude. By we're two up. Never happened. Ever. Yeah, and then you lose fucking fourteen to four. To or two. Or, oh, twelve to two. <laughs> never scored it again. Fuck. And the bottom of the order came up. Yeah, I know much you can do. That was it. That's funny. Yeah, dude. That was always the worst. Being a little kid and just being on a shitty team, dude. Oh yeah, it drove me fucking being crazy. Pretty decent. Being yeah, on the shit I mean, team, and you're just like, I was, yeah, I was, I was generally well, not the best player if on they my team. Definitely hit a fly ball to right field. He's not gonna catch yeah, it. Yeah. So I got to pitch the ball and make sure he doesn't hit it to right field. Yeah. yeah. I got to make sure he hits it at least to this guy. Oh third yeah, yeah. Base is good. <laughs> yeah, dude. The kids in that. Yeah, the kids around. You're like, yeah, yeah, dude. Dalton ain't catching <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, I got to keep it down low and in. Bring it. Prince sitting down. Uh, God yeah, damn he's it. not even paying attention. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then just try to make a pop up to me. Yeah. Just like, ping. Yeah, I'm the All only right. one that, yeah, dude, because that's how it was in Little League. Like, the best, like, generally on most teams, the best player on the team was the pitcher. Yeah. And he was the best pitcher, the best hitter, the best fielder, the best, you know, he was just the only kid that could throw a fucking strike, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, dude. I don't know. I was on some pretty fucking good teams, but the two worst teams I was on, like, one time I went to fucking like I played actual little league because I would always play like the like select and fucking like optimate like the other fucking leagues. I never played the actual like little league shit where we could have gone to the little league like world city series. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Actual fucking you know. I did that one year, dude. And I got on like the fucking worst team. Like I literally was the best kid on the team, and it was so bad, <laughs> dude. I think it was still like machine pitch. But dude, it was fuck. Dude, we got destroyed. We it was like that. Oh. It was like your sister's team. We got fucking run ruled every fucking game. Never been dude. blessed with a good baseball team. <sighs> I've always yeah, just been pretty mediocre, and which allowed me to shine on a yeah. shitty team. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, yeah. Then the other one was definitely LSU, where for show the boss, aka Carl Brady, was uh. our fucking starting pitcher, dude. It did. He was the best dude. He would wear it. He had like he did like oh, the yeah. juggalo, like the flip up this way, and he would wear it like this while he was pitching, dude. He was <laughs> dude, and he could not throw a fucking no, strike to no. save his life. And he was our best pitcher. I fucking loved hitting <laughs> against Carl. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> he had this thing that he said he said was a curveball, but it was like at best a change up. Right. <laughs> fucking did, had no dr- no break. Dude, in the it. fucking second then, team a fucking, we played today, the pitcher. Would only throw knuckleballs. Oh, really? That's, yeah. I was just like, Is it overhand or underhand? It's underhand. He, knuckleball underhand? Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. But I still cannot 
figure out the trajectory on the Yeah, that that was you went three for three in one game and then one for fucking yeah, three in the next. Yeah, I was just like, fuck. Yeah, it's fucking hard because I'm used to like eighty, seventy, eighty, ninety mile an hour balls. <laughs> Not like, uh, yeah, you gotta hit it on. I guess the down, and you gotta have like <laughs> an upward swing to like shoot it out. <laughs> Uh, dude, I just remembered. All right, so there was one of the games I played for with my fucking brother's uh, softball team, and <clears throat> it was like bottom of the ninth, and they were, or you know, or whatever, you know, like the end, because it was like it's based on time. So they yeah. just were like, we had like two minutes left like or whatever six in minutes. the game, and he's like, all right, dude, don't swing, dude, just take pitches. All right, we're just trying to milk the clock here. I'm like, all right, cool. He goes up there and did the first pitch. I'm just like, <laughs> and I tried to fucking just smash it. And the dude's like. What the fuck, man? I'm like, sorry, sorry, my bad, dude. It just looks so perfect. And I I missed, dude. I whiffed. I fucking whiffed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, my bad, my bad. And then I, I took the next fucking whatever, like four pitches, and I got walked. <laughs> like, the pitcher could not fucking pitch. But yeah. Got a piss. All right. We'll be back, bitches. Yeah, dude. Even doing like a fucking. <laughs> like a kickball game. Like we used to do. Oh, yeah, dude. We used to play kickball in the park all the time. Oh, that shit yeah. was fun. Back when we were actually had a bunch of fucking friends because we went to school every day. <laughs> yeah. Um, we could get a squad no, together. Like There's a bunch of people six. not doing shit from like 3 p.m. until midnight every fucking day. It was so, nice. I've been on um, a pa brownie making binge. You been making your own eddies? Yeah. Hell yeah. So, I don't like, we've discussed before, I do not dream. Do not remember my dreams. Dude, I had the fucking worst dream of my life last night, dude. It so, was so fucked up, dude. I ate, <laughs> it was so fucked up, dude. I ate a bunch of I ate a, a bunch of brownies. I was just making brownies. That's all I've been making. But um I I don't dream. The other, the other night I had a dream and I remembered it. <laughs> and I was like we were all raccoons. Okay. okay. Like like day to day raccoon shit. Like the mailman as a raccoon, yeah. Like, like we're raccoons, and it was yeah, just basically like, like a like a cartoon. Yeah, no, raccoon. It was just like Rack cartoon, like Rocket from fucking what the uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, but everybody, it was so fucking weird, and I just woke up. That was it. That was all that happened. That was all that happened. <laughs> we were just fucking what? raccoons. Your neighbor from across the street, yeah, mowing yeah. your yard. Larry was a raccoon. Yeah, Larry. There you go. Larry's <laughs> just a raccoon. Everyone was a raccoon. I'm like, dude, what is going on? I'm like, and and I think it was because um, we caught a raccoon the other day, and, we're, and Ricardo wanted to shoot it. Oh yeah. So now you're feeling bad. And then raccoons are people too. And then like uh, I was like, you know, like. Let me just release it. So I saved the raccoon. And I think the, oh, yeah. the raccoon was like embodying me spiritually. <laughs> nah, dude, he's haunting you in your dream. <laughs> he's like, you just killed me. Um, yeah, no, dude, my fucking okay. So last night I had a crazy dream. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what the situation was, but it's like the most fucked up shit. So like, fucking uh, it, I don't know what situation. Like maybe my dog bit a kid, or it's like something happened where it was like. All right, dude, you have to give your dog this poison. Like, you have to, you have to put your dog down. Like, kind of situation. I was like, fuck, dude. I was like, all right. And then I, like, gave my dog the poison. And then I was just waiting for fucking die. And then I got, like, a phone call and I had to leave. So I was like, oh. All right, I guess I'm just going to leave and you're just going to die by yourself. And then I, like, left and I woke up right then. I was like, Yo, what the fuck, dude? What the hell is that? Yeah, dreams are normal. <laughs> dude, they, they seem to suck, be. dude. My dreams are terrible, yeah, dreams man. dreams suck. It's the most depressing shit ever. Don't it's dream. Like, it's like 5.30 in the morning. I was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> that oh sucks so bad. I have this fucking weird thing I do when I sleep. Um, I'll grab my, my wife's hand and put it on my shit. Oh, yeah, you just like, <laughs> touch it, touch it, bitch, and touch then, it. And then, like, I'll wake up and her hand's in my pants and I'm, I'm like, did we fuck? Like, last yo, night? are we about to do something about this? <laughs> and she's like, "No, you, you just do this weird thing. <laughs> you just grab my hand and put it in your pants." <laughs> like, no, no, I'm just, like, "No way, I don't do that." <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. That's like the fucking Al Borland. What you make her do? <laughs> just touch a little pube. That's hilarious, dude. No, dude. I mean, I'm I'm full grope factory in my bed, dude. We're fucking we're we're honking tits yeah. in my in my I fucking mean, bed. But if your hand ain't on my no. schlong, yeah. 
We ain't cuddling. Dude, yeah. you ever you ever like woke up and like I don't know, so I'm a b I'm a box and briefs kind of guy, you know what I mean? Mm. So it's like, you know, kind of the briefs thing. So you have to have like a pretty stout boner to like poke your way through it. Yeah. But you ever like asleep and you poke your way through it and you're like thinking like am I fucking <laughs> No, what is going on? Are we like, doing this right now? <laughs> just like that. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm just fucking my underwear. Dude. <laughs> like, damn it. We're doing this right <laughs> now? Yes. Oh. Who is this angel woman? <laughs> oh, these dreams. Uh, please be a girl. Please be a girl. Please be a girl. <laughs> yeah, you'll be like, I get that feel. Like, <laughs> yeah, I definitely get that. <laughs> you wake up, you're just like rolling over. You're just like, what is that? <laughs> you know? You look up and you just see the head of your dick. Yeah, and your you're pants just... are like, oh, god damn it. All right. It happened again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's up, dog? <laughs> just pound it. Just, <laughs> just grab your wife's hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. That's so funny. I don't know what came over me this morning. I guess I was having a dream. <laughs> I just like the thing that you're saying. Just touch it the whole time, dude. It makes it so much better in my mind. Just go, just get in there. Oh, just touch it. Just flick it around a little. <laughs> oh, that shit's so funny. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's so fucking. Uh, Big question. <laughs> big question of today. Um, do you like eating cookies with milk or uh, brownies yeah, with milk? Oh man, like a fat, <sighs> fat brownie, like a fudge brownie. Yeah, dude, definitely. Or just I like mean, a whole plate of cookies. with or without milk. I'm I'm a brownie dude myself. All right, so so what do you dry um, dry brownie? No, no, no. I'm just saying with or without milk. Regardless, if you give me a plate of cookies, a plate of brownies. And a cup of milk, or not with a cup no, of milk. No, I'm going milk brownies. Is mandatory. Dude. I'm going brownies all day. Um, but you know, you get a gooey enough brownie. You get that like perfect consistency where it's not like still battery, but it's still like it's mm. still like super moist. You don't even need oh. no milk with that fucking brownie. Oh. But I will take like a scoop of vanilla ice cream on your brownie. Yeah, dude. Man, you're a slut, dude. I fuck out, dude. Sugar. Yeah, I'm a sugar slut. <laughs> I won't fucking lie about it. Well, here I got that. Well, I can't do that, or I'll be become diabetic. Oh, I'm not saying this is something that I like do Every on the day. regular bit. Like this uh, <laughs> almost right never now. happens, dude. <laughs> but I'm just saying, when the brownies are done, <laughs> I'm gonna put some fucking <laughs> ice cream on. Uh, but yeah, a glass of milk, dude. Whatever, dude. But I will say, I'll take some fucking Oreos with milk, like a fucking chocolate chip cookie. Like a Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookie needs milk. But like an actual like homemade chocolate chip cookie, nah, you don't have to have milk with it. You can just have like soda, dude. That was one thing I always used to love to do, dude. When I was a little kid, Apple my juice. favorite shit was a fucking chocolate bar, like a Twix or a Snickers or Milky Way or whatever, and just be fucking like every bite, just be down in fucking like either Coca-Cola or fucking Dr. Pepper. It's just fucking sugar fucking char sweet double charging, dude. Sweet. Mm. Mm. Yep. Gotta love it. Something about chocolate and soda mix. That was my shit. Uh, no, never, no, no. never a fan of the uh, floats. Ruby float can suck my dick. Coat float, also, it's okay. Can suck my dick. Well, I, I'm not a floater, dude. <laughs> I don't float. But you love Oreos. I love Oreos. You're a floater. No, no, no. So Oreos, milk, perfect. Yeah. Even Oreos and ice cream. I'm down with like an ice yeah. cream cake with Oreos and shit. Okay, let's go, baby. That's fine. But I like Oreo shake, that's fine. Ice but cream Oreos and soda, bland. Oreos are bland. Yeah, unless you get the mint ones. No, nah, dude. Then you remember it's they used bland. to make the ones where they were like covered in chocolate? They were like dipped in chocolate. Oh, uh, the cover, the cover cookie. Yeah, they were like it was like the same size as a regular box, but there was only like eight cookies in there. <laughs> it sucked. No, I don't like Oreos. Well, then they're go overrated, fuck yourself, dude. And they don't taste like anything. I don't think that uh, you know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Probably don't. But I do know they got some bomb ass Oreo shakes. Uh, well, like they don't, but they don't Jack taste Panamax? like anything. No, they. they it just taste tastes like vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Oreo doesn't add any flavor crunchy. to it. No, nope. well, sure doesn't. No, nope. it's not even crunchy. 
It has right. no flavor. That's wrong. I'd rather have a Reese's. Hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> I was always more of a Reese's Pieces fan than a uh, Cup fan. Butterfingers? You know they did away with Butterfingers? Oh, Butterfingers doesn't exist anymore? No. Nope. What? But the Bart Simpson was the sponsor. <laughs> or bon- Bart have Simpson was sponsored by Butterfingers. In a grocery store? No, dude. I haven't, I haven't seen a Butterfinger since I was like probably 10 years old. This is fucking uh, one of my friend's moms. She always like, she always had in her van a carton of cigarettes, a fucking twelve pack of Dr. Peppers, and then like a uh, you know grocery bag just full of Butterfingers. She would go to like she figure out which grocery That's store or CVS <laughs> had Butterfingers on sale, and she go the fucking worst sp- people. Have yeah, Butterfingers. dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That lady was the shit. She's dude. why they got canceled. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> so. She supplies us with cigarettes, Diet Coke, and fucking <laughs> Butterfingers yeah. fucking through our entire Cowboy childhood. Killers. No, not even. They're like Misty 120s, dude. They were the worst fucking Misty Lights. They were the worst fucking cigarettes in the world. But we were 13 and we didn't care. So, we're going to go through these. Um, All right, this is Xander's segment time. This is going to have a little, little sex sag we're going to do. Um, I'm basically going to read these names. No, no, let's not just blow past a seg seg. Yeah. The podcast is over, folks. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Seg seg. Seg seg. <coughs> <coughs> uh, segment seg. If I wasn't smoking your weed, I'd kick you out of my house right now, dude. I don't know. God damn it. <coughs> Anyways, continue. Is that... <coughs> We're going to call the podcast now Sex Sex. Yeah, dude. Sex Sex <laughs> is easy. <laughs> Shut up, dude. The uh, Zed Zed. No, well, then segue me into this Sex Sex. Dude, you know what, man? I was uh, I was listening to some, like, 90s, like, you know, alt rock yeah. the other day, dude. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, a lot of, like, most of those band names are, like, super dumb. But super we dumb. should... We should probably we should just you know just riff off the top of your head. Think of ways to make the names dumber, but still kind of sound like the original name. Mm. And then we'll quiz each other on what bands you think we're saying. Whenever you know that was just an idea that I personally had. That was riffing. Are yeah, you yeah. riffing. Yeah, I'm riffing right now. Oh, cool, dude. Hell Love yeah, it. Dude. What's your first one? <laughs> All right, this one. Here we go. All right, what so so what the game is for folks at home is there's a band I'm thinking of, and what I'm going to say is going to kind of sound like the name of a band. Let's see if you can guess it before Xander does. All right, so this was like a 90s, 2000s. They're still around, but they're like a heavy metal band, all right? Slipcock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Slipknot. Yep, Slipknot. That was it. That's right. That's nice. <laughs> slip cut <laughs> slip cut hey. <laughs> I'd buy that album hell yeah dude <laughs> um you go you, it's your turn I had another one but I can't remember what it is now uh alright uh <coughs> Wayne's Penetration <laughs> Wayne's Penetration <laughs> yeah <laughs> Wayne's Penetration <laughs> hmm is that Jane's Addiction? Yes. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. That's the person I got, dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah, let's go, baby. <laughs> Wayne's Penetration. <laughs> um, dang it. <laughs> I can't believe I got it either. Uh, all right, I got one. I got one. All right. <laughs> Stinking fart. <laughs> Stinking fart. Stinking <laughs> fart. <laughs> I can put them. You don't you don't got it? I don't know. Sure? Yeah. All right. Lincoln Park. <laughs> <laughs> so easy. <laughs> so missed. <laughs> All right, what you got? Um <laughs> <laughs> You already know these. Um We come up with new ones. I'm coming up with new ones in my head. I have one. All right. Uh the Jack Me Offs. <laughs> the Jack Me Offs. <laughs> <laughs> the Jack Me Offs. Fuck. Uh, 
right. I ain't got nothing. What? The offspring. The offspring. <laughs> the offspring? That doesn't, that doesn't even make sense. I was like thinking like, ah, the latte dies? I don't <laughs> fucking know, dude. Um, all right. Here we go. I got one. Bob on me. Bob on me? Yeah, Bob on me. <laughs> I don't know. Rob Zombie. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> what you got, dog? What you got? The, the Clam Harrys. <laughs> the Clam Harrys. I already know this because I came up with this one too, you bitch. <laughs> But that would be the cranberries. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Uh, what's another stupid band? Um, oh, the Mean Gay. Or just Mean Gay. <laughs> Green Day? <laughs> yeah, Green Day. That's right. <laughs> nice. Um, oh, I got one. Pound Farting. <laughs> Pound Farting. <laughs> <laughs> pound fart. Oh god damn it. Um Pound Fart. <laughs> pound Fart. Uh, is that Soundgarden? Yeah. Yes. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Um <laughs> We should just do this. We should have just done this the whole cast. The entire rest of the cast is pointless. This is the most fun part. Oh dude. <laughs> um Tasting Blumpkins. <laughs> Tasting Blumpkins? <laughs> Is that uh, Chasing Benjamins? <laughs> no. Oh, dang. <laughs> Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. All right, all right. R.E.M. Jobs. <laughs> R.E.M. Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one. Queerzer. <laughs> Queerzer? <laughs> Queerzer? <laughs> Queers or oh <laughs> fuck, dude. Nine inches in me. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, <laughs> nine inch nails. Yes. Nice, dude. Yes. <laughs> Gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> Gay sex. Uh, I have no idea what. Radiohead. <laughs> Radiohead. <laughs> Gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I got that. <laughs> um, <laughs> how about uh, the fag stees? <laughs> the fag stees. <laughs> the black keys. <laughs> it's the black keys. <laughs> Oh, the black felons. <laughs> oh, yeah, the black felons. <laughs> That's NWA. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> no, the blind melons. The blind melons? Never oh. heard. I don't even know. I don't, what what songs do they even sing? Like, what is the blind melons? I don't know. <laughs> you have no idea? <laughs> it's definitely a band. Well, well that's cool. Um, Pussy Ham. Mm. That's a good one. Pussy <laughs> Ham. Pussy Ham. <laughs> Uh, I st- you've said it twice to me now, and I still can't remember what it is. Oh, Pearl Jam, yeah, Pearl Pussy Ham is Pearl Jam. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Jam with some Pussy Ham. Uh, yeah, all right, we're all losing steam. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I got. Yeah. Well, folks, I can't think of any more. What are we at? <laughs> oh, who knows, dude? It's definitely fifty-six minutes or something. Yeah. But with the pee break, that's like fifty-two. So we got to do something. Uh. Probably fire up the Xbox and I don't know. Maybe check on my. We just ordered a new Madden camera. Fantasy. Oh yeah, dude. This is the last episode that will be done on my phone. So therefore, theoretically, Wave I would goodbye to be the able iPhone. To, yeah, use my phone mount in the future to piece uh, of wood plank. You know, come up with plank. ideas of stuff to talk goodbye, about. Goodbye, plank. Yeah, dude, the plank served us well, dude. The plank served us well. We'll throw a picture of the plank up, dude. I know you guys have seen it before, but just one more time for the plank. We're moving on to bigger and better things, folks. Yep. Um, well, we'll miss you, plank. No, we won't. I mean, you'll still be around. I'll just, I will just—I can't. I don't get rid of scrap wood. I just have all kinds of little pieces of wood that I will never use for anything ever. 
Oh yeah. Um, but just in case. Gotta have a good little sized piece of wood laying around. That's what I'm saying, and that's the thing is, I won't use like ninety percent of that wood. I'll never use, but the other ten percent, I might use. use at some point. No, maybe. It may, dude. Yeah, we'll yeah. see, dude. Yeah. In the future, I can't. I'm not a poor. I, you know, I'm not a fucking sidekick or that's, nothing. That's that's the joy of having wood. But just lying around, yeah. you know, poke two to your by underwear, four sheetrock, four by four, eight <laughs> by eight. <laughs> Uh, that's what I was thinking about since we got off the subject of uh, sleeping boners. Uh, so my dogs sleep in the bed with me. So every once in a while, I just wake up and I just like press my boner into my dog. <laughs> just like, oh, oh, my bad, Carlos. Sorry, dog. I'll, I'll turn over. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Awkward. Like, oh, oh, my bad, brother. Whoa, bro. <laughs> I mean, we can cuddle, but Jesus Christ. Well, he's a fucking cuddle bug, dude. He like He literally waits for me to get in bed like... If he's already in the bed asleep and I come to go to bed, he hops out of the bed and I have to like get in bed and then make enough room for him. And I'm like, all right, come on. And he hops up and just like lays in my arms all night. He's a little bitch. He so, wants that boner touch. Yeah, so occasionally, <laughs> occasionally, <laughs> working on some night moves. Bestiality and is <laughs> way out of park regulations. My bad, dog. My bad, dude. I mean, I can't choose my boners. I don't get. I don't get to decide yep. what when I get boners. Women, I'm just, you know, men cannot control their boners. Yeah, and I'd rather, you know, have boners <laughs> than not have boners. Yeah, no one wants to be unbonered. Yeah, bonerless. Could you imagine a bonerless life? Good lord! Thank God we live in the future. I mean, if if anything, like with technology these days, I could have a boner until I'm two hundred, two twenty. A boner. Yeah, dude. In exactly. A yeah, I could probably get Blue a better. Chew, right? I could get a better boner. <laughs> Blue Chew, right? No, no, no. Don't say any names, dude. We're work- we're mean, still working on contracts with sponsors Fuchu. and stuff. So, yeah. Dude, blue. <laughs> dude, blue food chew. <laughs> blue a dude. <laughs> blue a dude for some food, you know. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Being homeless has to suck. <laughs> we went to the fucking Astros game the other day, and there was, like, tornadoes and stuff, but we didn't care, dude, because we're true Astros fans. We fucking, fucking body now. that tornado. But, no, nah, dude, it was crazy. So, we parked the truck. We're walking, like, under the fucking 59 or whatever, to, uh, and the fucking rain starts coming down. We're like, oh, shit, we run under the under the bridge. We're like, oh, shit, like... All right, it's only like a block till the stadium. So we're like, dude, do we stay here under the bridge or do we go? And we just like turn around. And there's just like an army of homeless people just all like living on there. It's like, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here, dude. Fuck this. <laughs> <It's like laughs> yeah, dude. We're, we're, what are we going to do? Just hang out with these homeless people? And supposedly, and oh, uh, dude, okay. So end of the game, right? Game is over. Astros win 8 to 1. Let's go, baby. Um, I go take a piss. And there's this old dude at the fucking urinal. And he just like walks up next to me and he's like, Man, did you see that tornado? I was like, uh, no, nah, man. He's like, oh, we we were sitting in our seats. We could see it out of the center field window, man. You could see a tornado right out there. I was like, oh, really? He's like, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, he's pissing. I'm fucking not, dude. I'm like, dude, come on, bro, dude. This sucks. Do we know each other? Yeah, exactly, dude. He was fucking just talking me up. I was like, all right. So I just went and washed my hands. I was like, all right, dude. I guess I'm just holding this on the way home. And I'm like. Walking out of the stadium, you know, storms passed, everything's cool. It's, but the ground's wet everywhere. I'm like, fuck, dude, fuck. <laughs> there's not a, there's no chance in hell I'm making it home. So I just pissed in the parking lot behind my boy's truck. And that's so awkward. But that's why you bring your glove to the game. I always bring a glove to my game. So afterwards, you just, just cover your dick. Dude. Nobody saw, there's not a chance anybody saw my penis. You can't even get charged for that. You can't get a small a no glove way. that small. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> no. Not a chance. Fucking, uh, Even the little, like, you know, little kid gloves that come with the little plush ball and the yeah. fucking bat. Glove about this big. Tiny. That still cover everything. Tiny. <laughs> and then some. Very tiny. Yep. Um. Definitely start to say something and then hit the fucking pen. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I do the other day. Nice. Dude, that was a good rip. Yeah, I've been vaping for a while now, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty good at it now, dude. Yeah, mom told me that she didn't care. Like, she wants me to quit smoking, but the one thing she doesn't want me to ever do is to start vaping. 
So I started vaping right away, dude. 100%. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> two vapes at one time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do have two vapes, dude. I do have two fucking vapes. But that's because the one I bought, the w- other one I have, I fucking hate the flavor. It's so bad. It just hangs around. Yeah. I never was into vaping. Well, get into it, bro. It's like I the like coolest vape. shit. Dude, I was skeptical at first, but supposedly... And this is based on only my YouTube research. Like, in no way is this medical uh, information coming YouTube's directly medical? from probably true There's actual doctors. There's a lot doctors. of doctors on YouTube. But anyways, supposedly vaping's, they they really aren't seeing a bunch of harm coming from vaping. Which is exactly what they said about cigarettes early on. So, whatever. But supposedly it's supposed to be better for you than smoking cigs. But I don't care, dude. You just look gay vaping. Who even knows? What if... Uh, plus, can I just get a vape that tastes like a cigarette, please? Like, no. Is that too fucking much to ask? Because it's natural tobacco. It's not natural. Yeah, but this it's thing liquid. tastes like a fucking blueberry watermelon. It's liquid, though. It's not natural tobacco. There's natural tobacco that tastes like blueberry lemonade. And of course, you'd want to smoke it. Right? No, I wouldn't. Why it's not? It's too fucking sweet. It's like the same thing. It's like, oh... Well, then why, why are you oh, smoking it? Why would you drink Jameson? You could be drinking Southern Comfort. It's like, no, that shit's too fucking sweet, no. brother. I just need some... It's a manly taste in some, you know. That's the tobacco sometimes. leaf. That's the actual smoke from the tobacco leaf. Not. No, it's not. It's the yes. fucking chemicals that they put in it. No. Everybody knows it. It's a different smoke. They use the same tobacco. Same from a cigar. So just, let's like, say like the Mar- the Marlboro range of blends. I don't smoke They Marble. use the same tobacco for all that bullshit, and they just put different chemicals on the different ones. No, yes, you think the marbles. menthol and a red are different types of tobacco? Fuck no. It's one of them got a bunch of extra shit in it. Well, they're all the same tobacco, but that's exactly. the same. You're not smoking tobacco out of that. You're smoking a liquid. Yeah, liquid. It's not a it could be a liquid tobacco. <laughs> no, there's I was no saying such you can make it. You can make it taste like whatever. No, it's there's no like. such a thing as liquid tobacco. A tobacco is a leaf that goes in the ground. Dude, what you do is just like liquid smoke. And you dude, dry you just, it up. Nah, and dude, then you, you have a cigarette. You burn tobacco and you put some tinfoil over the top, right? You know, like a pound of tobacco, dude, and you just scrape off <laughs> the smoke. No. The, yeah, dude, the the oil that forms on the no. tinfoil. Boom! Throw that in my vape. <laughs> no. Listen, dude, I got revolutionary ideas, and I don't like your fucking naysaying attitude, all right? I have a, I have Someone's got to be a some naysayer. Th- yeah, but... There's got to be a naysayer. There's got to be a whistleblower. Yeah, you There's could... Gotta be but that's the thing, like... It's got to be a snitch. I don't mind the naysayers, dude. There's going to be naysayers out there, but my own fucking friend? I have to deal with it right here at home, dude? Here in the green screen? I have I'm to deal with fucking... Negativity and bullshit? No, we're not negative at all. Brother. Okay, then guess what? Make me a tobacco flavored vape. No. <laughs> no, air, let Air Bar do that. Geek Bar, dude. I'm on the Geek Bar life no, now, dude. Geek bar. Juice Bar can suck a dick. Non sponsor of the week, Geek Bar. Please sponsor me. I'm tired of paying 20 bucks for a yeah, vape. Yeah. <laughs> and listen, kids, I'm looking to make some extra money, so. Hit me up at the gas station, you know. I'll, I'll buy y'all vapes, dude. It's not a big uh, deal. Now live streaming Fortnite? Yeah, dude, I'm live streaming Fortnite. Yeah, cool. I'm buying kids vapes. Cool. Anything fucking. else to plug, Clint? <laughs> no, nah, dude, I'm fucking just, you know, just doing all kinds of live weird stuff. Live streaming MLB dude. the show. Trying to become friends with the kids in town. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get them to buy me yeah, dude. geek bars. Trying to get them to listen to the podcast. They don't like it, but I don't care. I make them listen to it anyways. <clears throat> But yeah, no, I got nothing going on, dude. No. Nah. Um, I'm helping my mom fucking <laughs> change the tile in her fucking kitchen. Good luck with that. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare. Well, but all right. So this is the last episode of the podcast. We're never going to have another one. Um last with the camera. Yeah, we're going to get a camera. Lunch Everything's going to be camera. better. And Carlos is sleeping. Carlos, I wish I could sleep. Oh, no. No, he's awake. All right, we're going to keep going for a little bit. Sit back down, dude. We're going to cast for a little longer. All right, bye, everybody.